Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosanna. So in today's video, we're going to just do a get ready with me using nothing new. We're using absolutely nothing new. So that is what we're going to be doing today. But before we get into that video, I would love, love, love for you to subscribe to my channel. You can ring the bell. It will give you notifications of when I post, which is every Tuesday and every Saturday. So yep, like, make comments, tell your friends, subscribe, help a newbie out. I would so, so appreciate your support. And thank you so, so much for helping me grow this channel. And now without further ado, let's get started. Okie dokies. All right, fine. I'm super excited. I'm going out to dinner um, with my cousin and one of our friends. It's it's a mutual friend. She's really my cousin's best friend. And then we became friends as well. But anyway, since I have to go out and I have to get ready anyway, I figured let's do it together. Why not? We're going to do it together. Nothing new. Nothing, nothing new. I have nothing on my face, but just some face moisturizer. And that is about it. Um, asterisk. Just an asterisk. This is fairly new. I did a video on this a couple of weeks back, but it's a couple weeks back. It's not brand spanking new. I've been loving it. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Glow Bronzing Serum. So, so good. What I like to do, of course, is mix it with my moisturizer. I have all my moisturizer on. As a matter of fact, girl, it's almost five o'clock, but I don't know how people use this or any kind of bronzing drops without something, this foundation, something. I, I just don't know how. So. We're going to re-moisturize and I'm going to mix it with um, my Holy Hydration Daily Moisturizer. This is um, one that's different than the one I normally use. This one has um, hyaluronic acid, jojoba um, seed oil, and vitamin E. It's so good. It's from e.l.f., by the way. There you go. So let's do that right from the get-go. Shake this little lover up. It is a beautiful day and it's sunny out, but I feel like when I go back to edit my... Um, my videos especially when i do like my thumbnails you really can't see like the title because it's so freaking bright so i had to shut the curtains bummer anyway so this comes in a cutie patootie little pump love it so i'm going to just give myself mm, two pumps and i think i'm going to do the same with the bronzing drops it's just nothing earth shattering that's it i'm going to just do that i didn't expect to love these bronzing drops I, when I did the video, I compared, that is so pretty, but I think I want to go a little bit darker. So I'm going to just take whatever's on this doohickey here that I can't stand. So it's about that much. I'm going to just put it on. There we go. But anyway, when I was doing the video on these bronzing drops, I had this one, the drunk elephant that I kept on calling the drunken elephant. And um, that my daughter had because I don't have them. And the elf, is that what I said? I said, and I really thought I was going to really gear more to the elf, but I'm really loving this one. I really didn't think I would love this one, but something about it, maybe, I was going to say maybe because it's a serum, but they're all pretty serum y, if you will. I don't know, something about this one. And you know, I can't stand smells, but it's not that bad. I know it's like the better bronzer. Um, family you know their butter bronzer oof smells so freaking strong of that make believe coconut so but this one doesn't smell too too bad as a matter of fact i was just watching one of tati's videos and she did i think a video of things that she wasn't crazy about girl and unfortunately this one was on her list she said it came out blotchy beep, beep, beep. i'm like tati you have to mix it with something but anywho i don't think she heard me but look how freaking beautiful that lays doesn't that isn't that so nice let me just double check here that is super de duper nice oh look how nice and glowy and delish right that's really nice i think we should start with the eyes today yeah, let's start with the eyes. I haven't grabbed this beautifulness in such a long time. This is the Sigma New Mod Eyeshadow Palette. What I love about these um, Sigma eyeshadows is that you get a fantastic Sigma eyeshadow brush. This is, I think they're all the same. I'm not sure. Where is the friggin' number on this bad boy? This is the E38. It's a dual-ended E38. I want to say they're almost all E38s, but I digress. But look at this friggin' palette, how so pretty that is right look how gorgeous that is isn't that so beautiful Ooh, that is so so nice am i gonna wear this top out if i wear this top out this won't really match do we really care i don't know we really don't care but anyway let's dive on in i'm starting off with preppy right over here all over the lid i was just watching someone on tiktok they were like that is like so like 80 ish 2000 ish putting like 
the lightest color all over your eyelid. Look how pretty that is. I don't know if you could see it, but it's got like a little hue of pink in it. Can you see that? So I was thinking about that. I'm like, oh my God, am I doing that? Because I really, really don't prep my eyes, which I guess I really should. But I have to get, I have to get like an eye primer. I think I saw, who would I see today? She was using the Milani one. I have like, I have like one or two, but they're like that stark white. Who the hell wants to look like that? But anyway, the moral of the story was, is that you could tell when some um, influencers like try to compare and contrast, like they're so aggressive, like on the don't side. And who the frig really does their makeup like that? But anywho, um, do whatever you want. Like I wanted to say, like I understand do's and don'ts, but really do's and don'ts are really a personal preference, aren't they? I mean, I know when I do my do's and don'ts, and let's say for an example, I don't like to use black eyeliner. For me, for me personally, I think it just looks like a little bit too harsh, but it, there's so many people that I know that still use, my age, that still use like the black eyeliner, the dark eyeliner, like the eyeliner. I don't like that, but if you do, do it. What does it matter? Anyway. That's it, I'm off the soapbox. This is so pretty, right? I'm gonna use the same brush. Actually, I just wanna go in a little bit more right over here. Pretty. I'm gonna take the same brush and I'm gonna go into this beautifulness right here called Sophisticated, right here. This is a beautiful palette. We may be able to get away with this shirt if we just keep it neutral, but it still has like a pink hue to it, right? Mm, we'll see. We will see. And listen, we're going out for sushi. We're not going out um, until tonight because one of the girls is working till 7. Like, who the frick cares what we wear, right? Because we're just going to go to spend time together. Mm, that is so daggone pretty. I'm going to take this mirror over here. I just feel like I could, There we go. I could see a little bit better with this mirror. This mirror, by the way, and I'm, um, I have a, um, I have a Ricky tall and a Ricky skinny, and this is a Ricky cutie, and I have something else. I love these mirrors. They're kind of really expensive, not kind of really expensive. They're really expensive, but this one I love, which I use all the time. I saw, um, Lisa J use it. I'm like, girl, what are you using there? I like it because it's got little lights on it. I think, was it got three? Yeah, three lights. So it's like, it's this one, this one, and this one. This is how it looks like when it's on my face, if I wanted to really look in. And this is without it. it. That was just way too bright, but this is so pretty. Nice, right? And then I think I'm gonna still go back in, but I'm gonna use the other side, and I'm gonna take this dark color right over here, grunge. And I just want to just darken up these edges. You know I have hooded eyes. This is just replacement. Everybody calm the hell down calm it and then I'm going to open my eyeball mm -hmm. and then here I'm going to start building right here but you know that I did a video on um, just a quick little tutorial of hooded eye application I will leave that link below maybe I'll put it in the cards right over here I don't know if it's over here over here who knows but I I'll put it up there for you and PS um, I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. I got a lot of um, likes and a lot of new subscribers when that video came out. Tell your friends, girl, I have noticed and I know that there is not a lot of content for we older women. Now, I don't know what older is to you. Over 40, over 50, over 60, over 70. I don't know. But I'm just saying, like, I really don't see much. So I appreciate that you guys subscribe. If you don't, I would love for you to subscribe, ring the bell, tell your friends, click on that bell because it'll give you notifications of when I post. I usually post like every Tuesday and every, that looks dark, mm. and every Saturday. Okay, so that's good just like that. I'm going to take a clean brush, P.S. I cleaned all my stinking brushes, yes ma'am. I'm gonna take a clean brush. This is the BK Beauty 201 and Hmm. You know what? I think I may just go into that sophisticated again. I think I'm going to mix sophisticated and that preppy. And I'm going to just go over that darker color, which was what? Grunge. I love being on here. I love sharing things with you. And, you know, 
it's kind of hard to make friends at our age and I'm not really like looking for like I'm lonely I'm looking for friends but like the older that we get like the more I notice that it's really hard to just put yourself out there because we are like creatures of habit I know I am I listen to me we I am a creature of habit I don't mind like I have like maybe two or three good good friends but I have a huge family so I'm really close with um, my cousins that's good um, but anyway what I love is that since I've been on here I have met such wonderful wonderful women like I feel like with some of you and you know who you are like I feel like like kindred spirits like we've been best friends before in another life I know that it's just a click it was like magnetic clicky clack click and like I've known you forever it's it feels great anywho that's what I want to say is like you know it's hard to find people but you know subscribe to the channel I just feel like we can have such a great connection together I think on the lid I think I'm gonna use posh right over here and then there's a color over here called vintage which is gorgeous I think I'm gonna use that as a topper I'm gonna use my fingers because to me personally I think they're the best tools look how pretty posh is it's like it's not even like a shimmer it's like a nice satin Ooh, that's so pretty pretty so I'm gonna do that my hair is so daggone gray it's like every time like I want to sit and I was just telling my kids the other day I was like I could film every day all day long like to chit chat love to share but like I have to do my hair and I'm not a hair kind of girl so it's so freaking difficult to like do your hair when you're like when you're not like a hair person so nine out of ten times you're gonna hear you're gonna see my hair pulled back anyway that's the more of the story but so anyway so that is posh so pretty and then this is vintage it is so look how beautiful that is right maybe that's not a topper you know what I think if I, if I just tap that'll be good for a topper because it looks darker than I thought oh that is so pretty look at that how shimmery oh that's so nice I like to change fingers because I just feel like if I use like my right hand for my left eye I can't get all the way in here so oh that's so nice okay cool so we're gonna get back to the eyes for underneath a little later now another product well they're all, all products what am I saying another product all these products I haven't touched in a, such a long time this NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum, it is so good. I watched a video the other day and they grabbed it. I don't remember what the video was about, but she grabbed one of these. I'm like, girl, I haven't grabbed mine in such a long time. It is in light. Listen, summer's coming in like a bang. I mean, technically speaking, on the calendar, it's not really summer yet, but damn, is it freaking hot out. But anyway, I, um, I have to rummage through my stuff to see if I have any products for like tan summery skin because most of it is just I don't usually switch out I just kind of like mix and match and kind of mix my foundations with like some drops you know stuff like that but concealers I only think I have like one or two that really um, are not too light for the summertime but anyway I'm grabbing a tiny tiny bit tiny bit and I'm just gonna go in with my finger yeah that is so creamy so look how oh, that is so freaking pretty that soul is thinking pretty. That's so nice. I'm going to let that sit for a minute. And whatever I have left over, I'm going to just go in like I normally do and just like spot conceal. You know, I love the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. That's an N3. Because now this is going to be, not only is it light to begin with, but now I put those uh, bronzing drops on. It's going to be even lighter. But girl, we will darken that bad boy up. That is so beautiful, isn't it? That's really nice. Okay, next foundation. I can't remember the last time I grabbed this. This is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. And I have mine in medium, Mykonos Medium. See, it's gonna work out. I'm gonna just shake it as I'm thinking about shaking. I have to do, um, I have to do a foundation declutter. I'm gonna put maybe like that much, whatever that much is because um, some of my foundations are so old that they have separated and it's oily and but yet they're still there. They are still there. Are they in circulation? No, but listen, don't put it past me. I may use them just like 
I used my concealer that smelled, <laughs> but I used it. Mm -hmm. Darn it. All my stuff is all nice and clean. I'm going in with the scent. Do I want to go in with the stands out? Yeah. I'm going out with the stands out sponge and I'm just tappity tap tapping. I love this sponge. If you guys haven't tried it, I will leave it linked below. I picked mine up on Amazon. There's just something about it. You're not, you're supposed to use it dry. I think like in the beginning it says like to wet it, like, like to wet it a few times. You should really use it like dry to get the best. Look how pretty though. It is so beautiful. Man, I haven't touched this in so, I'm so glad we're doing this video. Just a little bit. I have like a little zit right on the tip of my doggone nose. Eesh. I'm going to let that sit for a minute. Okay, and then like the rest of it, I just have a little bit left over. I'm going to just thin it out and take it down my neck. Damn, that's pretty. I think I want a little bit more coverage just on the cheeks. So I'm going to just put a tiny bit more. I'm probably not going to use that much. And just like right over here. Plenty. Plenty. And I'm going to just tap. Of course, the complexion looks so beautiful. I'm looking at this itty bitty tiny, itty bitty tiny zit right on the tip of my nose. Why do we do that, right? We look at like the most negative. You can have the most beautiful, can't this, that, most beautiful body. That you, no, I'm looking at that one stretch. No, I'm looking at that one pin. Like, come on. Come on, girl. You're 56 years old. When is that shit going to stop? Cut it out. Mm, mm, mm. That's really pretty. Look at that glow. It's so beautiful. Mm. That is so nice. I have uh, like that much left, but we'll see. I always like to leave a little bit left behind. Like I don't wipe it off because you never know. I may need it for something. Like I watch, uh, what the heck's her name? Rose and Ben. And she takes like a small brush. Like, let's just say this is the um, BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy A502. And she will take like the tiniest, my windows are open by the way, you're going to hear everything, the tiniest bit of foundation, I'm talking the tiniest, and she'll basically go like up the bridge of her nose, and just right above here to blend in the eyeshadow, it is so doggone subtle, but it's so beautiful, it just blends in so nicely, I love that, okay, next, girl Fenty, please, I haven't grabbed this Fenty Cream Bronzer in such a long time. This is the Fenty Cheek Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer in 03 Macchiato. It is, hello, it is so, you know, as a matter of fact, did I bring it? No. I'm going to go and grab my dampened sponge because I really love to use cream products. I like to use the butt of the sponge to pounce my cream products. I will be right back. Okie dokes. I'm going to just take the butt of my sponge. Darn, everything's nice and clean. I'm going to just take it. And let's start bronzing up. I mean, come on. That is so beautiful. Question. Do you guys use cream products in the summertime? I know it's a little bit tricky because it's it gets hot. And I don't know where everybody lives. I live in New Jersey. And um, yeah, it gets hot and humid here. I know like maybe some people tend to use like a cream in the winter time just to give yourself a little bit of extra hydration and maybe powder, more powder in like the summertime because cream would probably drip right off. But I love cream products no matter what the season. But look how freaking beautiful that is. Isn't that gorge? Wow, that is so pretty. I'm going to come close to you. That's so nice. Somebody made a comment, left me a comment. I really like your videos, blah, blah, blah. But you say that's so pretty or that's so nice, whatever it is, so so much. It's so annoying. Girl, we're talking about friggin' makeup. What do you want me to say? It's so ugly? Of course it's so pretty. Of course it's so nice. Of course I love, love, love. I, I don't understand people who make stupid ass comments like that. If something bothers you, like off of a video, then freaking move on. Like there are plenty of times when I watch videos with influencers that I enjoy. I'm like, maybe this one particular video, you know, whatever, your voice is annoying me or I don't like the products. You just freaking move on. I don't say, girl, you're ugly as hell today. Girl, I know you're doing a video about makeup and makeup is supposed to make you feel pretty, but boy, you say pretty a lot. Like what kind of stupid shit is that? I don't get people. Anywho, I digress. Okie dokes. So I'm going to grab this cutie patootie little hourglass here. This is the hourglass ambient diffused bronze light. 
I can't remember the last time I grabbed it. Look how freaking cute. Yep, it's little, but we're going to go in. I wonder if this brush is a little bit too big for it. We'll try it. Let's see. Let's see if it comes out. Yeah, enough. So I'm going to just set what we just did. But anywho, people kill me. And let me tell you, I'm not... Uh, I'm not like anything special like like I said before like sometimes I'm like mm, girl uh-uh that looks hideous but I don't say it you just keep it moving we're all entitled to our opinions I absolutely understand that but why does everything have to flow out of your mouth listen as the old saying goes if you don't have anything nice to say just don't say it like what is it gonna accomplish I read a book it was like three messages is it true is it true and I could be paraphrasing this. Is it true? Um, is it necessary? And is it kind? Girl, yeah, yeah, it's true. You're ugly as hell or whatever. Um, is it necessary? No, it's not necessary to say anything. And is it kind? Absolutely not. Let's move on, shall we? Now, here's my little tricky trick trick. When you use a cream bronzer, let's just say, and now I put a powder bronzer on top to set it. Now I have a cream blush. Is it going to disrupt the powder bronzer? I don't know. But anyway, who knows? I grabbed the e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blush. It's so beautiful. I don't know if you could see it. Probably not. There's like tiny, itty-bitty, like shimmer in it. I don't know. But I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. This is very pigmented. It smells like nothing. I'm going to put it right over here. Look how freaking pretty that is. And I'm going to take that with a brush. Um, I have the refer brush. This is the zero four. Should I get a smaller brush? I think I want to just to have a little bit more control. Hold on a second. I'm so not prepared, but then again, what else is new? What else is new? Okay, dokes. I grabbed uh, the BK Beauty 112 and I'm going to just grab it on here. There it is. And then I'm going to just keep on tapping it on my hand because I don't want too much. And let's just start tapping. Yeah, it's pretty. And that is so beautiful. Isn't that so nice? Oh, love it. I'm going to just grab the rest of it from my hand. And I'm going to just. Mm, that is so nice. Ooh -wee. I almost want to say it, it picked up a little bit like right over here. I could be wrong. I don't know, but. Comments, leave them down below. How the hell do you do that? If you set like a bronzer and then you're going to go in with a blush that's liquid, how the hell do you do that? Oh, that's so pretty. While I'm here, let's just set these under eyes. So I'm going to just get rid of these creases. Um, the number seven powder. Do you guys use this? It is so damn good. This is the number seven lift and illuminate triple action translucent finishing powder in light. You know, um, if you guys follow me, I do not like to... This is what it looks like, by the way. It's so beautiful. I almost want to say like it kind of mimics Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to take it on one of these puffs that I pick up from Amazon. But um, it's so beautiful and it's so light. But I like to always get like a translucent, the lightest shade. Look how beautiful that is. Because I don't like to distort like my makeup. I don't want to change what I just did. So I usually grab the lightest the lightest shade powder damn my skin's looking so good let's go in and set this liquid blush i got the fit me so so pretty this is the maybelline fit me blush and this one is in rose i'm gonna take the same brush is it wet no i'm gonna take the same brush tapity tap tap tapity tap tap and go over that that is so beautiful Damn, I wish I didn't have to go to work tomorrow. Dang on it. Oh, well. We could have stayed out a little bit later. Could have stayed out a little bit later. And highlighter, the Rare Beauty. This is the one in Exhilarate. I usually always grab the one in Ice. I love that, like, iced highlighter. This one is more of, like, a gold. Look at that. It looks like friggin' water. I can't. Look at that. It's so pretty. Let me just swatch this little lover for you right over here. Ooh. Look at that. Let's lightly, gingerly, tiny bit. I'm going to just take my brush that I normally do. Tapity tap, tap. 
on the tip of the nose. Really, really, girl, why don't you just accentuate that pimple? Ding dong. On the cupid's bow, right here, got to shave that mustache. Look how gorgeous that is, right? That is so, so pretty, but lightly. These are so, so pigmented. They are so pretty. While I'm here, let me do the inner corner. So I'm going to take one of the BK Beauties. These are the 204s. And I'm going to just do a tiny bit. I mean, look at that. That is so pretty. Whatever I have left over, I'm going to just go above the brow. You know, I'm not really crazy about that, but just whatever's left over. While I'm here, let's finish the under eye. I think I'm going to take this same grunge and then maybe put like um, vintage. No, you know what? Let's just use vintage and see. now because I, you know I like a shimmer under my eye. So I'm going to take grunge. Let me move this because it's too big. I know I have a habit of doing this. I know. I know. And I'm going to just, this is going to be too dark. So I'm gingerly. Right? That's so pretty. I'm going to take a bigger one. I'm going to take a bigger brush. This is the 210. Not that it's a bigger brush per se, but there's more bristles on it. Do you see how like... This one is packed pretty tight. This one's a little fluffier, if you will, because then I'm going to take that vintage and then just sweep it underneath. Like you could see it here better, like over here. I'm contemplating like eyeliner because, you know, girl, it's the same thing all the time. But I grabbed this, um, this, what's this one? This one's the NYX Professional Makeup um, in dark brown. But a lot of the times... When you tight line with them, they're not dark enough in my opinion. So let's just try it. Let's see. I'm going to just try and warm this up. I mean, it's right over here. I wonder, I'm going to just try it. If not, I'm going to have to go back to my OG, but maybe we could use this for what exactly? Maybe up on top. Like I normally don't like, I normally don't like eyeliner up there, but let's just try. Oh no, this is working. I mean, is it as dark as I would like? But you can still see it. I want to just bring my eyelid up. You see that? That's where you tight line up on top. And you can see the difference right away. But yeah, I like that. Maybe I just needed to like warm it up on my hand. That is so pretty. Nice. So my next product is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Longwear Brow Pencil. I had up to 36 hours, go figure. And this color is in medium brown. So this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, it looks like an eyeliner. I wonder if we could use it as an eyeliner. I don't think I would put it in my eye, but like on top that I just said I don't do. But I digress. Let's see. Hmm. This, damn, that looks really nice. Okay. My God, I can't remember the last time I grabbed it. This is more like... It feels, even though it's like a pencil and you would think it's like a waxy like pencil, it feels kind of powdery in a pencil. Ver Damn, that is such a beautiful color. Granted, this is always my good brow, but whatever. That looks really nice, right? Okie dokes, okie dokes. Let's try this one. Yeah, I can't describe it. Like... I would have thought right off the bat it's a pencil and it's waxy. But like on the skin, that is so interesting. Hmm. Wow, I really love this. Wow. I really love this color. 36 hours, huh? Interesting. That's really, really pretty. Okie dokes. I really like this. Wow. Okay, great. Now, let's see. What else? Did we do everything other than the lip smack? Oh, hello, the mascara. Girl, you know how I feel about my mascaras. You do not need to spend a bajillion dollars. I haven't grabbed this Maybelline Sky High Lash Sensational Mascara since it came out with all the hype. I went everywhere. I have a couple of these. I haven't grabbed it in such a long time, so I figured how appropriate we're going to use it today.
I have nothing to say. This is a great mascara. I love this friggin' wand. It's so like flimsy. It's perfect. Now you know how I feel about under eyes, girl. I will make a disaster. This brush and these bristles are perfect for up top and on the bottom. It's perfect because normally, I will be honest with you, I will use a mascara for the top and if the wand is like gargantuous, I will just take another mascara that has a really thin wand and go underneath, but this is perfect. Perfect the window, perfect. Now for the lips, I just have a little bit of City Lip Lip Balm on. Oh, P.S., I also have a City Lip Lip Gloss. Go figure. I'm gonna just take this off. I like to leave a little bit on, you know that. I love this lip liner and I haven't grabbed it in a minute. This is the Color Pop Lippy Pencil in O Snap. It is so friggin' pretty. It is so, so beautiful. Here's what it looks like right over here. I have a gajillion of these. I'm sure like I have to go into like my stash stash because I'm sure I have to throw it away because I'm sure most of the stuff is expired because you know when you love something, I'll take seven of them please, but girl, it's going to take you like a year, a year and a half to, this is still my first one. Is it? Maybe it's my second, but it's going to take you forever to get through it. Relax, relax. Let's put it on. Yeah. To me, it is the perfect pink. It is the perfect nude pink. I mean, how beautiful is that, right? So pretty. I love it. It is so, so beautiful. And then, I used to love, and I still do, these Maybelline lipsticks. This is the Maybelline... Who could see? This is the Maybelline um, Cream Lipsticks in Flush Punch. Let me, just, let me just put it right on here. It's, it smells like nothing, thank God, but look how pretty. I kind of like that contrast a little bit of like a lip liner and a lip smacking. Yeah. It's so pretty. Mm-hmm. That's beautiful. That is so stinking pretty. Now, I do have, not that you need it because it's so beautiful and delish. Yeah, and pretty. It's so beautiful. But I just want to show you if you have like a matte lipstick or whatever. I love these City Beauty lip glosses. They are so, so good. Now, I grabbed this one. It's called Tinsel Town. So good. Do you see like it's got like a little itty bitty shimmer in it. I don't know if you could see that. I'm gonna just put it on my hand because I don't want to mess up the lip smacking wand. And I'm gonna just, if you could see it right over here, do you see it's got a little bit of shimmer in it? Who doesn't want shimmery lips? Who, who doesn't want shimmery lips? I'm gonna just take it on my finger. And I'm gonna pat. Mm-hmm, delicious. So friggin' pretty. Are we done? I think we are. Did I get everything? Yes, yes, I did. So anyway, so this is it, guys. This is my get ready with me, with you guys, using nothing new. None of these products are new. So that is it. What do you guys think? I'm gonna say it. I think it came out so pretty. I love it. I absolutely love it. Anyway, so that is it, guys. This is my video. Thank you so, so much for sharing your time with me. And as always, you guys, be good to each other, love each other, and have a great, great day. Bye.